Yeah, my name is Robin Chowdhury. I'm Professor of Cardiovascular Medicine at Oxford. So we've seen in a number of talks this morning that the, uh, the role of inflammation both in the initiation and in the propagation of um, uh, atherosclerotic vascular disease, it's a very complex area. It spans both uh, adaptive and uh, innate immunity. And we can see evidence from multiple strands, be it from the animal models, from uh, human uh, epidemiology, study of human tissue to some extent from large-scale genetic studies that inflammation seems to have a clear and mechanistic role in atherogenesis. The real question is whether or not treating inflammation will affect patient outcomes. So if we take as a starting point that inflammation is important in the pathogenesis of this disease then clearly in terms of diagnosis, in grading severity, in stratifying patients to receive specific treatments, the ability to image and characterize the inflammation using other tools, for instance circulating biomarkers, potentially contributes a lot. And I think where this field will go is to develop ways of characterizing individual patients that will allow us to pair up, to match, the diagnostics with specific treatments because if we don't get to that stage then we really have no hope of delivering patients the type of specificity of therapy uh, that they that they need <laughs>